Greetings and welcome to Money Control. You're currently tuned into the IPO corner. I'm your host Kachi Mitchellani, and today we're going to be talking about Aeroflex Industries. The IPO of this company, which is backed by Markey Investor Ashish Kachoria, has opened for subscription on August 22nd. The IPO comprises a fresh issue of equity shares to an extent of 160 crore and an OFS amounting to around 1.7 crore equity share. Under the OFS, of course, it's the promoter Sat Industries, which is offloading. 1.75 crore shares. Now let's understand the background of this company. What does the company do? Essentially, it exports Make in India metallic flexible flow solutions to more than 85 countries, as exports account more than 80% of the total revenue. Its metallic flexible flow solution replaces rubber and polymer pipes and tubes, and its products have a multi-purpose use, catering to numerous industry segments, including lights, firefighting aviation and space amongst others now this particular solution that's the flexible flow solution plays a crucial role in the transfer of substances like air liquids and solids in the industrial or commercial ecosystem connecting the origin and the end point of various processes put together let's talk about the industry overview the demand for this particular solution that's the flexible solution made with stainless steel corrugation was largely driven by the industrial sector essentially manufacturing paints and that products from chemicals to paper. Between FY18 to 23, over 1,840 projects, including both Greenfield as well as Brownfield, were completed in the manufacturing. Now, uh, talk about the price band in that case. The company has fixed a price band in the range of 102 to 108 per share and the investors can bid for a minimum of 130 shares in one lot and in multiples thereafter. Let's talk about the date. IPO starts as open for subscription on August 2nd and closes on August 24th. The company shares are expected to get listed on both the exchanges. In terms of the reservation, 50% of the offer is reserved for QIBs, 15% for the non-institutional investors and another 35% is set aside for retail category. In terms of uh, the minimum lot size for the retail category, the amount goes to an extent of around 13,260 rupees per share for lot size, beg your pardon. In terms of objective of the issue, now the proceeds from the issue will be utilized to an extent of 35 crore for the prepayment of outstanding secured borrowings. Another 84 crore will go towards funding the working capital requirement and certain of the amount will be used for general corporate purposes and acquisition for inorganic growth out there. In terms of the financial parameters, let's understand how the financials have stacked up with this one. Now, the company has clocked in 12% growth in FY23 revenues, which came in at around 269 crore, primarily led by the strong demand in the domestic markets, which grew by 48%. Now, the growth was relatively slower of 66% that was witnessed in FY22. In terms of the EBITDA profile or the margin profile of the company, it stood at around 20% in FY23, which is a substantial increase from around 15 odd percent that we witnessed in FY21. It recorded profit growth of nearly 9.5% for the financial year gone by compared to 54% decline in FY22. In terms of key highlights, or let's just say other highlights that need to be on the list, uh, well, the company exports Make in India metallic flexible flow solution to more than 85 countries and generates 80% revenue from these countries. It sources maximum raw material from China, caters to various industries, be it steel, oil and gas, fire sprinklers, metals and solar for that matter. It operates from a single manufacturing facility with a utilization level of nearly 83%. And for the past two years, the company has a track record of a dividend distribution and has a well-defined dividend policy of distributing within a range of around 7 to 15 odd percent, as disclosed in the offer document. Well, with this, it's a wrap and goodbye. Thank you so much for tuning in.